got one semi Come on. If you have a truck problems, I'll be bad for you, son I got 99 problems, but the truck ain't gonna uh -huh. hit me Yeah Let's go I got 99 problems, but the truck ain't gonna Hey guys, thanks for joining me again today. I gotta show you something I encountered uh, just now with my fuel and the importance of, of checking things out on a daily basis and doing all your inspections. Uh, I know with the hours of service, things are tight all the time and everybody's in a hurry. Uh, you know, I really don't see most people in the, in the truck stop anymore when they pull in for fuel. A lot of people don't even open their hood anymore or do it on a pre-trip inspection. Well. I always, without exception, every time I fuel, uh, check some things over. And one of the things you need to do every time you fuel, really, you should be doing it daily, is draining your Davco fuel water separator. And I'm going to show you why. And something that just happened here that can cause a significant amount of damage if you just let it go uh, unmanaged. And if you don't have a fuel water separator system, whether it's a Davco, or some other type of filter that you can just drain. I highly recommend it, and I'm about to show you why. Uh, I fueled yesterday <coughs> in Gary, Indiana, the Petro, fueled there last night. And let me show you what, uh, what happened. I already drained some out, but I'm gonna drain some more into this cup right out of the Davco here so you can see me do it. I'm just going to give this just a second to, to settle out here. But uh, let's take a look. Look at that. So when you drain your Davco, drain it into a cup. You see a lot of people drain it on the ground. And if you drain it on the ground, you can't see this. Look at, uh, here, let me get a better thing here so I can point. That is fuel. That is water. All that crud floating in there, it's some kind of white scaling. This wasn't present yesterday, or a day, what was it? Today is Saturday, so I fueled on Thursday. Didn't have none of this in there. That much fuel, that much water was just in the, the little bit of fuel I ran through so far. That is significant. As you can see, it does not blend with the diesel. And look at all that crud. If you don't drain your Davco and you get enough water in there, certainly all the water sinks to the bottom. That's how it separates out the water. But if you don't ever drain it and that water just keeps continuing to build, like if you get a bad tank of fuel, it will eventually build up as high as the filter and it can pass through. If it's bad enough, it goes unchecked. And water in your fuel is bad. You can do significant damage to your injectors having that much water pass through a system. So, I mean, and this was at a, a major truck stop chain that goes through a lot of fuel. And this is what happened. This is what I got. I don't know if I was sucking from the bottom of their, their storage tank or if they got a bad tank of fuel, if their tanks have never been treated or cleaned, but that is, that is just bad. That's, that, you know, we wonder why we have so many problems with trucks these days. This doesn't help. And if you're not doing this, uh, you would never know what you just ran through your engine. I've mentioned in the past, I've had you know, some routine injector problems. Well, hell, this doesn't help any. Uh, so yeah, make sure you drain that every day. Catch it in a cup. Also, if you have antifreeze in your, in your fuel, the antifreeze will kind of settle here too, whether you have red or green. The red you can instantly notice, and then green you'll be able to tell too. And then it'll look like uh, globules, because uh, it doesn't mix well with the fuel. And uh, obviously, you know, I've shown in the past where I've had the black fuel, uh, got that rectified. And uh, yeah, just this, this daily little check here can save you a lot of money. 
really no recourse. I can't really go back on the truck stop for that if, if it did do some damage because it's, you know, proving it is, having it happen like this is one thing, but proving it is another. So I've got a bunch of water in my fuel tanks apparently. And uh, I'm gonna keep repeating this process two, three, four times a day just to try and get all that water out of there and, and keep it from building up. And also with all, you, you can see all this, this crud in here, this scaling. Uh, I imagine I'm gonna go through several filter changes here, trying to uh, work this through the system. I'll probably also find some kind of treatment to uh, maybe help disperse the water and, and uh, get it out of my fuel tanks. So this probably be an ongoing process for a, a little over a week, but it's necessary. So just that little tip for you today. Make sure you have some kind of system on there for fuel water separator and use it. So take care everybody, we'll see you next time.